All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to continue and hopefully finish the drilling equipment. Hold on one second, my microphone isn't quite in the right spot. And uh, there we go. All right, so let's get this truck fired up. Let's go figure out what we shoot up. I think, I think I picked up this container at the wrong spot. Or something. I don't know. I'm not really sure what was going on. <laughs> Maybe I just didn't uh, switch it to uh, get it to to go to the right spot. So, anyways, I think what we're doing is we're picking up a large, uh, oversized sh uh, cargo container, like you would see on cargo ships. As as if the word cargo didn't pretty much uh, sum that up. But uh, anywho. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's let's uh, definitely got to be in all wheel drive to get through that mud, but pretty impressive that the truck did that without all wheel drive. So again, this truck is, uh, I don't know, it, it's becoming my favorite. Uh, so I think we're going to be seeing a, a lot of this. And uh, yeah, we've we've got a uh, paint scheme to change on it because uh, we got a request for a camo, camo, camo camo color not camel it's not an animal anyways uh this is the drilling equipment that we were supposed to pick up so this is four slots and i did ask the question about if there's a three slot and nobody's really sure so anyways we're gonna pick this up we're gonna take whatever we have in that uh wooden crate with us just for fun maybe it will come in uh useful Probably not, though. And let's get, uh... Let's get this back to... The... Was it the factory? No. It was the... Drilling site. Which makes sense, because it's drilling equipment. I feel like if I thought about it for a second, I could have figured that one out. <laughs> All of my own. I swear. I could have done it. I really could have. Alright, I guess I couldn't have. Anyways, <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's drag this back through the mud. Throw on the differential because, well, that, uh, that makes a lot of difference with this truck. Ooh. This truck may still be a little on the tipsy side. I'm, I haven't quite, um, figured that one out yet. I'm going to need, uh more experience driving it before I can make a assumption or a conclusion a thesis something anyways there goes another ro road sign I don't know who comes through and puts up these road signs but they do a great job because I just every every episode I take at least a handful down and after every episode, they're all right back in place where they're supposed to be, so... Somebody's... somebody's, uh... Has, has good job security. <laughs> it's no runner. Oh, uh, apparently I think I'm funny today. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you think I was funny today. That's all I gotta say right now. <laughs> uh, we're gonna skip getting gas, because we, uh... Well, we literally just got gas. At the end of the last episode, so... I think the easiest way to do this is once we cross the bridge and we get to the fork, we'll take a left and then we'll take a right at the water tanker. Which I mean, one of these days I'm going to have to start hauling this stuff back. I tried so hard this this map to not have wasteful... Um, ooh, ooh, wait. Is this the fork that I wanted? Uh, yes, it is the fork that I wanted. Uh, but I tried really hard. And I think I did a decent job with the cargo trailers, uh, these blue ones that we use a lot. Uh, I feel like I took a lot of those back and, and sold those when I wasn't using them. A lot of times I had to repurchase them right away because the next mission, oh, look at that, you need, you know, a car or a uh, flatbed trailer. So, but I feel like I did a, did a good job there. Unfortunately, there's a lot of like this now oh, there's a couple of these trailers here that this one I just completely didn't realize that wasn't a fuel tanker 
Um, so it's completely useless, so we could take that back. But I have a lot of, I guess, trailers that are left on the map. They are, um... They are just kind of leftovers from, uh... They were, they were placed on the map, uh, in the beginning, so... Uh, what, what am I trying to say here? NPC trailers, I guess? You know, like, they- I didn't spawn them in, they were pre-spawned at the beginning of, uh, the map, so... Uh... Actually, that could make for an interesting, um... <laughs> maybe an interesting time-lapse video? If I take this truck back to Michigan, and we start clearing out some of those trailers... I might be able to do... And I might just do, like, a 2x speed up. Like, I feel like... I feel like... Anything higher is going to be a little... Um... It's going to be a little nauseating. Uh... But yeah, anyways, let's get this cargo unloaded. And boom, we were done. We could have taken an extra six minutes to finish that mission. Uh... But... Well, you know... I wanted to, uh, I wanted to get that done. So what cargo is this? I don't even know if I can check. Yeah, I wish it would tell you what the highlighted cargo was. This one I know I can remove. Um, but yeah, so anyways, you know what? We'll keep it in the back of the truck for now. Let's go ahead and shut this off. Oh, there I go again, pushing the wrong buttons. It's, it's because Farming Simulator, these, uh, the little buttons on the PlayStation 5 controller, they are the menu buttons, and then here you want to use the big touchpad for the kind of, I guess this isn't really the menu button, but this is the context menu. A anyways, I don't know what I'm saying. If you guys have played both games, then you'll know. If you haven't, then I guess you're finding out now. Uh, let's see here. What do we have? We have oil barrels for delivery. We gotta bring a bunch of oil barrels. Wow, look at that. Oh, five. Mmm, that sucks. But you know what? We're we're gonna get, we're going to go ahead and do this because I mean, how could you not? <laughs> we are literally right here. So, what we're gonna have to do, unfortunately, is remove that cargo uh, because we need to grab five of these things. Let's uh. Fill up the trailer all the way. We're gonna make sure that we have five this time because last episode <laughs> I yeah I pulled away with three and I needed four so I had to swing back around. That was quasi annoying but you know what I'm, I'm glad I realized it not far away from the pickup point because it would have been um yeah I would have lost my mind if I uh got all the way to the drop-off point and only had <laughs> only had three of them so all right well this is uh this is pretty much the exact same path we just took but in reverse so i hope you guys were looking forward to uh seeing this drive again just in uh just in reverse Most of most of this road is going to be on uh, asphalt. So, well, I say asphalt. It's really on ice. I mean, let's be let's be frank here. There's probably about a good solid inch of ice on this asphalt. Uh, they haven't they haven't uh, well they've plowed, but they haven't salted. So we are not driving on anything resembling asphalt. <clears throat> And I don't know. I, I, for some reason, thinking about plowing and, and driving on ice, I feel like cities, at least the city I live in now, they're not getting out, they're not getting the ice on, or the salt on the road at the beginning of the storm. They're, they're, quote unquote, I think they're trying to save money somehow by waiting for the storm to come and then after the storm's pretty much finished, that's when they seem to get out on the roads and actually start doing the work um, and it's kind of annoying but I mean I'm good because I have all-wheel drive or I should say four-wheel drive because I drive a pickup truck <laughs> so it's four-wheel drive 
Uh, and my wife has uh, snow tires, but she's uh, front wheel drive, which unfortunately we didn't have the choice at the time because uh, she bought her vehicle during the, I believe it was the end of COVID. And yeah, we pretty much had to buy a vehicle and whatever was on the lot was on the lot and, and that's what we got. So, um, but yeah. Let's uh, let's let's take a look at this view real quick. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, continue on. <laughs> yeah, that was my cheeky way of uh, taking a phone call while recording. <laughs> hopefully, it worked out for you guys, uh, and hopefully, I can edit it so that. Uh, so that it doesn't uh, seem like I sat there for about, I don't know, I want to say a good 10 minutes. And it was one of those phone calls that was like, nah, it wasn't really overly necessary. Something that could have waited. But anyways, let's, uh, yeah, let's get this truck through the mud. Come on! I wonder if, uh, what other upgrades do I have for this truck? I think it's just the engine. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, I think really the only major upgrade is the engine and the, probably a snorkel. That would be, um, that would definitely be nice to have, but, uh, we don't really have too much deep water in Alaska. But I got a feeling in Russia it will uh, that will all change. Did I finish talking about what I plan on doing in Michigan? No. Okay. So real quick, I don't know if I <laughs> finished. I get distracted. So basically, I want to take this truck and see how it does in Michigan, and pick up trailers and do a time lapse. So that's that's the plan. Let's go ahead and drop off. Nope. Drop off. There we go. Okay, now what's going on? It says I have zero barrels. Did I pick up fuel? No cargo to unload. Is this a glitch? Um, I feel like this is a glitch or something because I have barrels of oil, do I not? Like, I picked them up from the drilling site. There's the arrow picking them up. If I go down to the drilling site, did I get fuel? Is that the, that's the only thing that makes sense? That's what I did! <laughs> oh! Oh, um, alright, well... There's only one thing we can do. Remove the cargo. I really gotta start paying attention, I guess. Like... <laughs> this is almost worse than uh, only getting three barrels when I needed four. Alright, so this time... Let's, um... Maybe I'll cut this out, I don't know. It's not a long trip, so that's that's a bonus. Oops. Let's just hurry up and get through here. We are definitely making this uh, this path through here sloppy. So that's kind of uh, that's kind of a nice little test there. How much harder is this path going to get the more times we uh, travel over it? Alright, so I think I'm going to also fill up at the, uh, at the gas station. I'm kind of annoyed <laughs> that the, that you can get fuel at the, uh, drilling site. Like, I feel like the drilling site, you get oil. And then the oil has to go to a refinery to get turned into gasoline. So, logically, I don't think there's any refineries in this game. 
Uh, there may be refineries later on in expansions. I think there is, actually. Uh, but you shouldn't be able to get fuel at a drilling site. You should be able to get fuel at a gas station. All gas stations, I, I think, in my mind, should have barrels of fuel. Uh, and I don't think they all do. Uh, but yeah, definitely not getting barrels at the drilling site. Or barrels of, of fuel, I should say. Not necessarily uh, oil. Because obviously that's where you get oil from. So anyways, that's just my rant because I'm trying to control my temper with <laughs> with screwing this up again. So, But you know what? This is what makes entertaining... Uh, entertaining... Uh, I almost said TV, but obviously entertaining YouTube. All right, so let's try this again. I think this time we're probably going to get two. Whoa. Came in a bit hot there. Uh, I think we're going to get two missions done. So we should get this one done, and then we should get a, another one done as well. Which I haven't picked yet. Okay, there's our water tanker, so we know we're going in the right direction. This path is also getting torn up. Quite a lot. And it's, uh... I, I like the, the terrain deformation that you get with the mud and snow. Uh, but I'm, I'm ready to see the next, the next level or the next generation of uh, graphic slash mud uh, deformation. Um, this looked really, I mean, when this game came out, I think in 2018 or whatever it was, uh, the mud looked amazing. But now I'm like, hmm, Real Engine 5's out. That's was an amazing step up in the generation of, of graphics and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm really tempted to see what they can do. I'm really excited to see what they can do, not tempted. Okay, so that's fuel. If I could read, that's barrel of oils. They look almost the same. Except the barrels of oil look like they've been overflowing and been contained for the last 20 or 30 years. All right, now we've got oil. <laughs> so let's get, uh, let's get this moving. And I still stand by my saying of I wish they made us pay for this. Uh, because that would be a mistake that you probably wouldn't do if you actually had to pay. I would have made sure that I got oil, not fuel. And then I probably would have brought it back trying to do... Maybe they could do that where you... you if you buy the wrong thing and you bring it back, you get like 75% of the value. That way it still costs you money. There's still that consequence there of not screwing up and um, you still get to bring back the fuel or whatever. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being crazy. Maybe I'm the only person who accidentally grabs the wrong thing and then just deletes it because again, they got the wrong thing. So I, I guarantee you that's what happened with the uh, drilling parts is I picked up drilling spare parts, not knowing that there was a container. Um, I really should cycle through them just to verify that I, I feel like that would help out a ton. Um, but yeah, so anyways. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll skip this. I'll bring this back uh, right before we get to the one road. And we'll see see how much harder it is to get across that one. That's the first time I hit that sign. I've done this track three times now. So I've been back and forth two, four, six, six times on that trail today. And yeah, it's getting pretty, uh, it's getting pretty nasty, <laughs> nasty, 
messy slash nasty, I guess, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so here's our beautiful view again. I had some, I had, I did have a request to kind of check out the views a little bit more. Not necessarily just, you know, hog tie or what's that saying? Truckers used it all the time with just hauling, basically just hauling butt to one spot. I, I don't remember what it was. Anyways. We'll have to uh, we'll have to try to show off the the views and the, the terrain a little bit more. So here we are with the uh, the beginning of the path, I should say. We've got a little bit of asphalt to go on before we come on. Yep, there we go. Before we get to the uh, the muddy part, I'm gonna get ready to drop this into low. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, I think it will be really cool if you start getting mud and snow mixing. They don't really seem to mix too much. But I feel like they would definitely be mixing a lot more than they are. Oh, this is the first time I actually had a backup in reverse. <laughs> Guess I went a little too wide. Alright, so let's pull, <laughs> let's fix the oil barrel. Or let's, uh, let's finish the oil barrel delivery where it's just slightly late on this one, but that's okay. There's no penalties for that. And we'll just go over this part of the parking lot where they decided not to plow. And there we go. All five. All right, so that mission is now completed. There I go again. Uh, do we do DR Enterprises? Aerodome logging. While we're at the Aerodome... I mean, shouldn't this be called... Ooh, which one do we want to go to? This is a big mission. I am not quite ready to do this one yet. There's that one. We gotta pick up logs from here, and then... Yeah, that's... that's... yeah. That's going to wait. So this is all logging now. Let's go to the mining. Supply crates. We need to drop off consumables. Which consumables are not on this map. So um, let's go to Mountain River. Where are the closest? Okay, so we come out there consumables well that's that would have been the one consumable I think that we had uh, what about if we go to Northport I think oh bike rate oh yeah okay definitely not going all the way over there to get supply consumables so let's go ahead and activate this one we'll go to uh, Mountain River from White Valley and we're gonna swing by we're gonna do a paint job real quick on this truck and trailer well on the truck not necessarily the trailer so let's go ahead and haul this all the way back there wasn't a trailer store over here was there oh wait hold on what oh I almost screwed up again. Because I could have sworn that said I couldn't pick up consumables here. Alright, never mind. <laughs> well, well now. Let's go ahead and pick up our consumables. Okay, so we got four, right? And they were consumables. Let's double check. Yep, that's consumable. It's the only crate here. Alright, well, this should be a really quick episode. 
Um, so let's go ahead. We'll, we'll still swing by the garage and we'll do a quick paint job. And then we'll advance to morning so that we uh, don't have to worry about driving at night. drive again through this mud. I don't think it's getting any worse. I feel like it's pretty much reached that uh, pinnacle of, of how bad it gets. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I'd, I'd have to run test to see if the mud actually does make it harder. Some mud puddles, you would think you would push the mud away, and if they're shallow, that it would actually get faster, because the mud isn't as deep, and you've cleared it out, but the super deep ones, you can't really get rid of the mud. Ah, uh, wait, am I supposed to go... Yep. Let's, uh... Let's drop the trailer off here. We'll swing around. We'll go get- actually, you know what? We can just recover. What am I thinking? <laughs> let's save some time, right? Uh, let's go to the paint. Oh, so we got this paint color. Or scheme, I should say. Uh, and then we've got, I believe, military colors? Do we not have military colors? All right, well, we don't have military patterns, which is kind of strange. I thought we would have. I'm pretty sure I've seen them for this truck. And I wonder if that's a uh, DLC that I haven't quite purchased yet. Uh, it's a complete possibility. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to go with this army green, but then again, we do have this one, so. And this one's kind of fitting for the snow that we're in. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, if you guys wanted a different one, I guess you should have told me in the comments. So if you do want a different one, go ahead and scream out what color you want. And I will get that changed. And we'll go from there, but this is what we're going with today. It's a... Uh... Actually, you know what? I didn't check. I don't think we... We obviously haven't found any upgrades or anything like that, but I just wanted to double check and see. Um, yeah, so we still have the 3200 engine. Um, I'm assuming that's going to be a 8-cylinder 3.2 system of, 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 of whatever. I don't know why. High range... I just... I don't know. We could try it. Fine tune is also locked, so we gotta go to Wisconsin, which I believe is... Um... Whoa, I'm just... I'm sorry, I've just got distracted reading this, but it says a specialized gearbox allowing free low gear slash R gear transfer ratio tuning. Notori notoriously fragile and not very fuel efficient in all wheel mode, owing its mechanical complexity. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> Why would you want that transmission? Uh, but any anyways, let's see here. I mean, suspension stock, so that's that's fine. But yeah, I think the the big deal is the uh, it's definitely the. Uh, the engine and everything else we have. I don't think we No, we gotta get to level 28 and we are what level we are level 24 so we are a long ways away from uh, from getting oops getting said snorkel for this truck but I think we'll have time Let's turn on the lights. It's a little, it's a little dull in the morning. I wish we could set our times. Last guy, I probably head out around eight in the morning uh, to do these things, but unfortunately, we're stuck with uh, 
think it's every eight hours. Now there's four there's four settings, so I don't know. We'll say every six hours then. Oops, whoops. That uh just crushed that right air filter. Like look at that, I just destroyed it. That's okay, we got another one. Uh, let's attach the trailer, and now let's head. And I guess we're going back, what, to the sawmill? Um, so best path to the sawmill. Ooh, you know what, we'll cut through this way. I don't think this is going to be very complicated to get through there. And if it is, then I guess we'll see how well this truck can handle it. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave the truck in uh, two wheel drive. Actually, I think it's six wheel drive because I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure this truck spins all four or all six back tires, and then you just get the pull of the front tires by going to all wheel drive. But which would make sense because this truck is still pretty capable even in or not in all wheel drive. Like I think any other truck, I probably would have been stuck at this point. Um. But yeah, this one's slowly crawling through. And as you can see, yeah, I mean, those back tires are trying to spin, so. Anyways, let's go ahead and throw it in all wheel drive. <laughs> let's get all eight tires spinning. Let's go ahead and lock up the diff. And let's just cruise up this, uh, cruise up this hill by not moving at all. All right, low gear, there we go. We get a little bit more torque out of low gear, which is good. And we can make it up the hill. Shift into, nope. Especially go to low. Oh, that just spins the tires. Wow, I just lost all faith in this truck. <laughs> There's nothing to winch to. Alright, let's just... Let's try low again. There we go. Now we're moving. Alright, my faith's slightly restored. But shockingly, I mean, we do have a full load, so... Almost a full load. We're one... One crate short. Okay, so the the Achilles heel of this truck seems to be muddy uphill slopes. Uh, but it still did it. So that's impressive. And considering there was no winch points to uh, go off of, I'm quite happy with the way it handled. Alright, so we are... Going through a little bit of deep water, but nothing too bad. We've got that high end, the high or the tall, I should say, front end on this truck. So the the air intakes are pretty high up, anyways, to begin with. So, but I would still love to get those snorkels. So, is it snorkels? Is there two or is there one? I think there's two snorkels. I think you get one on each side. So. Come on, you can do it, truck. I'm glad we made sure that we had a full tank of gas before starting this mission. Come on. And for some reason, I think it's because I came back here and I had to do a scan of this area to get a upgrade that doesn't show up when you do um, watchtowers. I just thought about the fact that we haven't checked to see if we have all the upgrades from from Alaska yet. We're just going to keep rolling. I know, I took out a tree. I apologize. Oh. We uh, got hung up on something there. Let's actually go into the cab view, see how difficult it is to drive this truck. Oh, that made your heart sink a little bit. 
make your butt clench. Especially if you were actually in the truck and it did that. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we so... We are really tilted. Alright. <laughs> Uh, that's the last thing I want to do is roll this thing. Yeah, we're safe. Ah, oh, it does work better. So, uh, EJ pointed out that if you're in the cab... What? <laughs> it doesn't look that sketchy from the outside, but inside... It looks sketchy as, um... A H, I guess is the way you would say it. Uh, I can say hell. Why not? It's sketchy as hell. Uh, but so if you're inside the cab, it does actually work the way I want it to. Where oh, I want to look at. Yeah, so it does work much better. I mean, let's see that tree there. Nope. That tree. Nope. That nope. Yeah, see, it doesn't. But if I was in the cab, and I want to look at that tree there, boom, drops it. Oh, that telephone pole? Sure. Oh. Ow. Uh, not 100%, but it's better. I do have to say it is much better. Anyways. Uh, let's go up and over. I'm going around that mess. We have enough winch points where if we do get stuck when we high center here. Nope, we're good to go there. This tree I'm a little nervous about because it doesn't look like any other tree. So I don't know. Can I get rid of it? Normally you can break them and get them to Get out of the way. I go this way. Can I go up and over it? Nope. Come on. Ooh, I think this is an unbreakable tree. It started to move. My tires look a little fuzzy, don't they? I guess it's just the... Anyways. Alright, so that does look like an unbreakable tree. Normally you can use the winch and just kind of move them and they'll, they'll, they'll snap. And they'll disappear off the map. But it looks like they did that on purpose, which is why the trail went around. I'm not sure if I did the right thing there, going trying to go up and over it, but you know what? We made it, we got through, and we got another mission created. Or, uh, completed. Not <laughs> mission created. Oi. Alright, so let's go into cargo management. Let's drop off our four crates. And we got promoted to 25. That's awesome. Alright, so now we're only three levels away from the snorkels for this truck. We've got $320,000. So we have built a nice little empire. And uh, let's shut the truck off. Let's uh, take a look around real quick. Yep, nothing, nothing too great to look at. Maybe a pile of logs there <laughs> waiting to be processed. Uh, let's go into our missions and see where we're at. So we've got drilling equipment. That does come from the Aerodome. So we could do that one. Uh, we've got lumber supplies. We could do that one. We've got fuel, small pipes. I thought we did this one, did we not? Maybe we didn't, maybe we skipped this one. Um, and cargo delivery which is not even close to this map. So that's a high saddle as well. So that's definitely a big trailer. Um, 
So let's go to Blackbird and see what's see what we can do there. All right, so it looks like that trailer needs to go to the aerodome, but that requires a high saddle, uh, which we could always go back and get. Um, we need to pick up a lot of this stuff. I was looking for a quick, quick and easy mission. A lot of these are requiring a high saddle. Um, drilling spare parts. That's right over there. So we're not too far off from doing that one. We have the trailer and everything already set up for it. So let's do this one. Let's do more parts. They want more parts. Wow. That truck is a little... little messed up. Let me go into my settings. I feel like something's off. Uh, full screen. Okay, we've got a resolution on point. I've limited the FPS to 60. Um, yeah, we've got ultra high settings on everything. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what, like, I don't know what half these do. <laughs> like, Ambient, ambient occlusion. I think that's the the cloudiness that you get from the sun coming through the trees and things like that. Uh, but that's also part of volume fog. Um, water quality side, texture filtering. I think 16 high is... Seems like that makes sense. Um, so let's go ahead and accept and go back. Um, I don't know. I just feel something's off today. It's like the textures or something. Anyways. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll get as much much as this mission done. We're not a hundred percent sure on how long this mission will take. Maybe we can get it done. I suppose it all depends on how fast we can get out of here. I don't think. Yeah, I think coming the way we came probably going to make the most sense. And we'll, uh, we'll be able to stop and get uh, a top off on fuel. So that will be nice. And I'm going to go this way instead. And see if this way uh, would have been much easier. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it would have been a lot less of a struggle. Uh, it doesn't doesn't look like it would have been that hard to do. Oh well. I had a 50-50 chance, and if you guys are trying to figure out which is the best path, I, I definitely think the second path was was better. And what do we got here? I don't remember. There's there's couple spots where it seemed like it was very tippy. <laughs> but you definitely want to avoid that little pothole back there. Because <clears throat> I remember being scared out of my wits when we hit that. <laughs> it was first person view and all I saw was sky and I'm like, am I going to tip? Alright, so I think we can just squeeze through here. Good there. We'll probably take out that tree. Nah, no, it's fine. It's flexible. It's probably about five years old. Ah, eh, no, probably more than that. Probably closer to ten. Depending on what type of tree it is. Anyway, it's not important. This isn't real life. This is a game. And, uh, yeah, let's travel through the water. Wash off the underside of the truck. Give it a nice little bath. So this is a nice little... I mean, it's a decent cab. I wouldn't want to sleep in this truck, but... You know, you could if you had to. Maybe if you had a pillow. 
blanket. You know, some chicken soup from home. It would be really cozy in here. Get a little sterno. Alright, we gotta figure out where we're going. This trail kind of snakes through here. <clears throat> I think auto will be fine. Cool. We're going downhill. We'll let gravity help us get down. So there, there would have been, there's a nice test if you want to try, is to try to go up that uh, hill. I know we, we, we don't have a load right now, so that's why I'm not going back to test it. Uh, but try to drive up that, see how hard it is with the truck, and then come back down, and then drive back up it. And see if it takes you any longer, or if it's the exact same amount of time, or plus or minus the same amount of time. There'll be variants of, of why, you know, the time won't be perfect, but... Anyways, and it's nice, quick, it's short, it's easy. Alright, so we gotta get to, I believe, the, uh, the warehouse. No, that's where we're taking it. We have to pick everything up from the oil rig service. Which makes sense, drilling spare parts. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete this mission. We're going to get all the way through here. And then I'm going to have to do probably do a little bit of editing um, because my time right now uh, with that double back, I, I don't know how much time that's going to take off of my total time. So I think I'll, I'll shoot to go over. And if we're, you know what, if we're an hour and a half, then we're an hour and a half episode this time. Like, I guess the more more viewing bonus for you guys, so. And you know what? I won't charge you any more. <laughs> uh, I'm not very funny, am I? Insert cricket noise. <laughs> Although I guess I said I'm not very funny, so that would, if there were crickets, then people would say, no, they would, well. They'd be disagreeing. If I said I was funny and there was cricket noises, then that would mean... I don't know. Anyways. I'm not here to talk about cricket noises. I'm here to pick up drilling spare parts. Four of them. So I guess that will be... Drilling spare parts. We have drilling spare parts? Yes, we do. They're in the trailer. We can't pick anything else. We're not screwing this up. And, um... Yes, we have four of them. Alright, so there's no way we can screw this up unless we tip over. Which is very, very uh, likely to happen. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So let's see here. Uh, best route to get back to Mountain River. Should have rotated the other way. Uh, yeah, I think we just go... I think we'll just go straight. We'll take the main road. It really doesn't matter. They they probably shouldn't have put both roads in. Uh, I feel like they're pretty much going to the same spot. They did put the entrance to the one place on the one side, so I guess that does make a difference. But we have we have gone through this little patch of mud. I don't know how many times. I think eight. I want to say eight. And honestly, that's the most I think I've traveled through a, a, a mud trail in this game. <laughs> like, usually I'll do it once or twice, but then I'll close the game and everything resets, right? Here, this is 100% torn up, all by me, and a trailer. Multiple times. Like, you can see the amount of mud that's on the, the road. I don't think that's normally there. There might be a little bit, but I don't think there is that much. It's kind of ridiculous, but... Alright, so this should be... This should be the easy part, right? This should be all on-road. I don't think we have any mud. I think we just have a distance of, of driving on the road. Uh, so yeah, I think we're... I think we're... I think we're pretty safe. We're definitely going to complete this part. 
<clears throat> There's a little bit more of the scenery. <laughs> try to try to incorporate that a little bit more. No trailer, no trailer. Do not drift on me, trailer. I don't care if you do it when you're empty. I don't like the idea of you doing it while it's full. Or nearly full. Obviously, we, we only have four spots instead of five. And I do wonder, I do wonder why they decided to go with a lot of four spots. Um, and not just say, you know what, do the full trailer, because, you know, you, you try to ship as much as possible, right? Anywho, <laughs> I mean, I suppose it gives you the option on if you want to, ooh, if you want to uh, try to haul something else, if you, the type of person that uh, likes to look at all the missions and think, okay, well, I need, I need these spare parts. I need four for here. I need two for here. So let's go ahead and take five. And then we can come back and pick up something else. We can swing by and pick up another one instead of doing uh, multiple trips, I guess. I'm not that efficient. Um, I try to. But, yeah. If, if I have to do one extra trip, it's, it's fine. I don't really, really mind, so. Um, so we are struggling a little bit up this hill. That's okay, we're almost to Mountain River. Yep, Mountain River. There we go. Oh. I'm I got a feeling this episode's gonna be on the shorter side. Oops. Uh let's see, where are we taking these? Very, very important. Ooh, we're we gotta go all the way down there. I thought we had to go to the service hub. Eh, anyways. So we'll go straight, we'll cross the bridge, we'll pass the service hub and the fuel station, and then we'll head down this road where we just fixed that pipe. Nope, scratch that. It was this one that we just fixed, so never mind. But we will, nevertheless, head on out. And like I said, I got a feeling we're not going to be... I don't think we're going to be over. I think we're going to be actually under our one hour time. Just because I haven't had to turn around. I haven't had to deal with a rollover. I haven't had to deal with running out of gas. So, and uh, I mean, I haven't had really had to deal with that much damage. So that's kind of the thing that's impressing me the most is when I do get damage on this truck, it's pretty light. It doesn't seem to really affect it too much. We're going to bypass that fuel station. And we're going to go down this long, twisty, icy hill. <laughs> I did slow it down, so I'm proud of myself for that. Because normally I'm just gung-ho, pedal to the metal kind of deal. But like I said, I don't want to deal with rolling over. I don't want to deal with losing cargo and having to crane it back onto the trailer. I even I even slowed down a bit there, but uh, maybe not quite enough. But you know what? It's fine. We came out on top. All right. There's our, our little Chevy still sitting there frozen. All right, am I tempted to try going through it? 
Oh, I'm so tempted to try to go through this. You know what? No, I'm, I'm not going to do it. Not yet. I will do it. I will try it. I will try it with an empty trailer. Not when we're on a mission and that we're... I think this truck can do it. Watch it, watch it go through it like it's nothing and going around is actually longer and I've just been wasting time <laughs> this entire time. Uh, we're going to bypass that one as well. Yep. We still have over 70% of our fuel left, so... And this is all... I think this is road the entire way, so... Again, not a very hard mission. It probably would be a hard mission if I had mud tires on, but with these chains... These icy roads don't really stand a chance. And I can't I can't really wait till get to get to almost called it Africa these Russia to test the because uh, we could ditch the chains and go back to mud terrain tires and kind of see how this truck handles the mud that way. Because those are supposed to be much, much better in the mud than chain tires. And I need to find online somebody, I don't know if it's the game developers, probably not, probably a modder or somebody who knows the code of the, the game, but they've put the tires and their grip factor um, in a nice easy to use uh, table so that you can pick the correct tires for your situation that you're in. Alright, let's go ahead and drop these off and boom, we're done again. That's uh, another mission, I believe. Was that three missions in one game? I I believe it was. Uh, the worst part is, is we could probably do another one. Uh, this was all logging, so that's out of the question. <laughs> this is drill supplies. So we have to pick up from here. That might not be a bad thing. Um, although uh, there's drilling equipment. Is there? I gotta go to the drilling site there. Yeah, that could be, that could be done. Pretty easy. We could pick it up from the port too. Which may be quicker. What do we have in uh, Blackbird? That's the off-road high saddle. That's the... I'm going to carry a lot of stuff. And this is a high saddle. Oh no, no, sorry. This is a off-road truck, as recommended. Um, this is a pretty, although yeah, we've got this mud thing to go through. Although it wants drilling spare parts. I think we can get those. I think we can get those from Mountain River. Nope, it wasn't that one. It wasn't that one, it was this one. Yeah, we could pick those up from here. So, yeah, why don't we activate this menu, or this, uh, this mission. And, you know what, because I think we have plenty enough time, I'm actually going to head off over in that direction. Maybe, maybe we'll actually get to the uh, building spot and load up the items and then save the game. Let's see, is there... I could... You know what, I'm just going to go up and around. That's the smart thing to do. I could try to sneak through here. Don't think it's very hard to get through there. Actually, I can tell it's not very hard to get through there. We can get through that fence with no problems. Which we should be able to. Yep. 
Oh, making this turn might be a little difficult. Ah, uh, let's just put it in auto. We're on... We should just be able to... ...yank the trailer. There we go. Look at that, it's like we, uh... ...looks like we know what we're doing. Uh, what do I need to do? I need to go all the way down... I need to take a left out of here and head all the way towards that. Well, that shortcut probably saved us about one minute. <laughs> but that's what a shortcut is for. And it wasn't that difficult, so... That's always a, that's always a good one. Let's see, we got a little bit of water over the road. Thank the sign for telling me. As if I couldn't tell. And then, uh, yeah, where are we? Where are we at here? We gotta go this way. Does warehouse? Yep. Perfect. I'm not sure if we've gone down this way. Oh look, there's an oil derrick. Out there in the middle of the water. We've got the channel. We got a little iceberg. The iceberg probably doesn't move. And we've got another large trailer, so we are definitely gonna need a large saddle in the coming uh, episodes. That's my drilling equipment. That's my spare parts. That's the only two things that you can pick up here, so it's definitely this one. Let's spin this guy around. What do we gotta do? We gotta get out. Oh, look at that. We definitely have not been here. Maybe I should go back and... Uh... Do you discover these ones? I don't think you do because they're part of a mission. And I'm pretty sure I got really close to it. So maybe what we'll do is we'll... We'll spend the night here. And we will finish this episode in the next, or we'll finish this mission, I should say, in the next episode. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn off the truck there. Let's kind of marvel at the view right there. And uh, yeah, well, we're going to call it an end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.